Hi guys and welcome to the new small talk video from me or about me <laughs> and first you see a new look yes I try a new client a little camera is the DJI Osmo action cam uh, this camera is a bit like a GoPro camera or other similar camera action cams or this RX0 from Sony and um, it's have a very small sensor and the typical review things you find it on YouTube. I will not do a review about this, not a special detail review. I won't speak about this camera today in my um, small talk and in, uh, in the second part I want to do a book recommendation. Um, yes, first time because I got some message from a guy uh, and I want to tell you, these things are speaking about my gear and so are independent from and no, and nothing has sponsored me. Officially, uh, I, most of my gear I got from good guys, friends or by my gear myself. That is the answer to somebody they ask or think, hey, uh, why you get this gear and Hey, you have to write commercial in Germany Werbung in the in this video. Um, this is right and true, but in the small talk video, I want to speak not especially about my gear, and I speak about many things. And yes, that's first for information. Back to the topic, so to the small talk video today. I hope you can see something. Sorry for my uh, flickering because I use a LED stripe with my screens and this is sadly not synced with the camera sorry for this uh, wait a moment, try auto light it's lit, lit up more so back to this little guy above the monitors it's not a webcam I placed it there because this is the right place I hope you can see me, I'm a very dark guy So. Yes, the DJI Osmo Action Cam, a little nice gadget for do vlogging and so I want to use this not only for vlogging, I want to use time that's because yes, I killed a lot of cameras from DSLR, DSLRs, Nikon D800, yes, m more, uh, three cameras are complete dead, then I Shoot time left with a Sony i7 series, two of them dead. And so, and somebody asked me, why is this camera dead? Yes, typical a time that most guys do not a long time. I time lapsed often the tide from the River Elbe here in Hamburg. And the tide is around, um, I use an app from my phone, it's tight. Um, it's around six hours, one, up or down. Um, if you know, want to know more about Thai things, and so you can Google it. In German, we call it Gezeiten. And the time window or the path, uh, how long is the tide? Is around six hours. Depends where you are. Blah blah blah. And you, I shoot every five second, seconds a picture. Yes, some guys say, hey, you can say, uh, shoot every thirty seconds. Um, the problem is, on this river are many boats, guys, they use stand-up paddling and streets in the background with a bridge and clouds. And I tried many settings, 10 seconds and above are too, not, um, not too, uh, hacking, so it's not, it's not fluid, it's more like this. And I like this more, though I have gone down with the... Seconds. Yes, five seconds is a lot, and I use for my um, shooting very huge SD cards or storage devices. And sadly, the most cameras has not electronic shutters. Yes, some new DSLR or mirrorless has this, but then you have the jittering, this global shutter problem. And that is why I. Kill so many, many uh, DSLRs. Now I said, okay, 
the little global shutter problem is here and that is not so strong so I get I got a shutterless camera so like this DJI Osmo action I hope this works maybe in a few times I get a Z cam and I want to try time lapsing with the Z cam too and yes yeah, six hours is a long long time um, because the tide is, uh, is a typical nature thing it looks very nice and but I do this experimental today. So currently no video from the tide is online. <laughs> Six hours is a long time. And that's the first thing why I want to use this Z uh, Nizetkan DJ Osmo. Um, the second thing is, that is then uh, the next part of this video is, I want to use this camera uh, in my machines to show guys how I chip and cut uh, my work pieces, not every work piece. Uh, maybe I want to show guys how a lathe is working. Also, that is why I want to use this robust, small, rugged camera. It can uh, splash, uh, splash proof, dirt proof, dust proof. So I can pack, put it in my machine cabinet housing, and run the machine so you can see something. And uh, yes. That is the, or uh, I want to use it for typical riding with the car and put it on top or inside the car or put it on the rail from the sled and so I have to see it. I got this very cheap um, with some accessories, with some batteries and two memory cards. One of this is dead. Um, so why not? That is, by the way, the first action cam. The most action cam I got is our from my parties. This is my first own action cam. Yes, that is a thing I like it. Uh, most of the accessories compatibility to the GoPro. This typical finger finger um, connector is compatible and nice. So I have this part, and now on the top of the monitor there's the other part, and so um, yes. Now, I want to show you some other things. I have some nice books here because I ordered it again. The reason why is one of these books wear out is I use it a lot. The first book is a very nice book for cutting machine operator in Germany. It's this one. Um, Fachkunde Zerspannungstechnik. Maybe you pause the video and you can read it and write it down. The name, that is the back. And here's the number. I hope you can see it. So, that is the first book. Very nice. Fachkunde Zerspannungstechnik. The next book is this table book. There are very much table and charts. Back with the number. Um, if you want to know the number, pause the video, roll, scroll, and scrub it back. Pause it, write the number down. Both are from the Europa Lehrmittel um, distribution. And yes, great books. That is the uh, book for the schools or for the study. I, and that is the table and chart book that you can use at the study or in the workshop. There are some very nice things inside, for example, the threads, um, what kind of threads do you have on screws, um, or how you, cap, uh, you, how you do a thread, and similar things. So I just try to show you this. And or other nice things, other, a great, great book for self studying or um, using in a workshop. For example, threads in the uh, photography and film uh, apartment department. You yeah, see it here, or similar. Or uh, feed rates for cutting machines. Uh, many many things. That is a typical book in Germany you can use 
at the um, the tests and at the work. You can see, for example, um, feed rate calculation, and so uh, that this is an example. Great, great book. I can recommend it. Very good. This very well, and this book, oh, this book is this typical self-study thing, where you can learn how, for example, I look for a good example. Um, uh, the milling example. Oh, milling tool is working, and so or lathe is working, and similar things. Um, great, great book for learning and study this uh, job. And so, but here's the English part too. Very, very great. Um, I'm very happy about this and both books. Not cheap, but very great uh, stuff to work with. I used it in my past at a trainee too. And the, especially this book was complete dead. Um, pages are falling out. Uh, this was so dirty because I used it in my workshop and or in the workshops of the companies. Um, and this book had a lot, had a really a lot. As a good and skilled uh, cutting machine operator, you cannot know everything. And that is great to have a book where you can look. For example, I have to um, to uh, work on a thread. I have can look here. That's for example. Or I have to look for a ZNZ program. Hey, how I can program a cycle or this sort of thing? Or how how access how many access has the machine? So I can look here. So that is a great, great book in the workshop. I have to think, or I have to, uh, you have to maybe look if this book in your language available, for example, English. And um, so you can use this book in your country. So that is German uh, distribution, distributor and Europe for Lehrmittel is a German company. Uh, 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 German language speak, uh, how call it? A <laughs> common they have mostly German language books. So that's all right. I hope you understand me a bit. Uh, great, great um, material to work with. That I use it a lot at home too, because I use a, a mini lathe, a little small machines, at my as for my hobby to mill and cut materials, uh, for example, this plate, that is a cheese plate, that has this typical threads for, for the photography and film stuff, the big one and the small one, and I use the ZNZ machine for this. Um, great, great, and that's why you can have this book at home too. One of this book is uh, this, go to the workshop where I work, and this, stay at home. This is my reading book, so sometimes, sometimes I have to look. Especially if you, if you program and use CNC machines, you can look sometimes. The other very nice and recommended book is the CNC handbook. That is a very thick book, where it's all a thing about um, CNC cutting and so the last book I'd recommend, it, I don't have to see it because I ordered this, that is a, the MXF book. And that is a book about uh, filming stuff, not uh, machine stuff. Uh, it's explain how the MXF codec works. Great, great book too. And um, I can recommend it, this book very well. I uh, order very good to everybody who want to work with this um, stuff. So uh, I hope you could understand me with this camera. Yes, the audio may be a bit bad. I don't have a mic, mic uh, on me. And so, um, 
Yes. I wish you a good day. Have fun with you, Gia. If you have questions, uh, write that below in the comments. Um, again, these books are available on many, many bookstores, for example, Amazon, Talia, Google it. Uh, I don't know if it's possible to get as, uh, as an ebook, but mostly uh, to look at it, better have a paper book. Uh, so, have fun with you, Guri. I wish you a good day, and I say for now, bye bye.